Hi, Lope Nation. It's Lopes Insider Paul Coro here, joined by women's soccer head coach Chris Sissel, who joined the Lopes in December after spending 21 years as a collegiate head coach and winning WAC Coach of the Year twice in 2017 and 2018, but now making his transition to GCU. How has that gone for you? Yeah, it's been great. I mean, I'm, I'm happy to be here. I, I love Phoenix. I love Grand Canyon University, but it's also been extremely interesting because I'd only been here for about two months when coronavirus hit and, and uh, halted, put everything on stop for us and changed things and made things crazy for all of us. So it's been, uh, it's been interesting because I actually have been back in Kansas City uh, with my wife and kids now for since about March 15th and, uh, and just getting used to being a soccer coach on Zoom calls rather than on, on the field and in person. Well, from talking to your players, they got to spend some time with you uh, in the winter, and then you had an abbreviated spring season, but their right. their reaction has been tremendous. Uh, it seems like the atmosphere has been really good, and the transition has been smooth with the, with the returnees. Well, that's good to hear. No, I, th I think it's been great. I think we had a really, really good two months before uh, Corona hit. I thought we were making extremely great progress, and, and like to be honest with you, Paul, like what you were talking about, the thing we were kind of – working on the most was just uh, the culture, the atmosphere, and uh, just instilling and building confidence within the team and within the soccer family and trying to allow all the current players to get used to and get acclimated uh, to a new coaching staff with myself coming on. And then I hired uh, Edgar Anzaldo as my assistant coach. And then we kept Ben Parman on staff as an assistant coach slash goalkeeper coach. So I think it's been uh, you know, it's, it's been a great transition and, and a good time for all of us to kind of get used to each other and figure out what each other's strengths and weaknesses are so that we can work together to, uh, to, to try to build the best soccer family we possibly can. And you've been able to make some major talent upgrades already. Uh, you added Marlene Schimmer uh, from Arizona State. She was on the German youth national team. And also Lindsey Prokop, uh, your own player from last year at Kansas City, who won WAC Freshman of the Year. Can you tell everybody about those girls? Yeah, no, that's extremely exciting. I think the entire soccer family is excited and, and, and really uh, ready to welcome them into the family uh, when they come in. They're both, they're two really, really good, exciting players. They're attacking players, um, both with uh, tremendous technical ability, pace, and the ability to score and create goals uh, on their own and with others and for others. So um, we're extremely excited to have those two coming in um, and working with all the the great returners that we have because we have a lot of talent. We have a lot of really good players here on campus. And I think with the addition of Marlene and Lindsay uh, to what we already had here, you know, we're excited. We can't wait to get back out on the field and keep working together to build something special. And, and hopefully we get to play this fall. You mentioned family. And I know from talking to you that you like it to be considered a family and that they're a kid just like your four kids at home to you. How is right. that fit with GCU? Oh, I think that's a. I think that's great with GCU, and that's one of the things that really attracted me to GCU is the the family atmosphere, the family culture, the the Christian culture, and the way that I try to co coach. I think my coaching philosophy can kind of be summed up in the fact that I want it to be a soccer family. And I, you know, I've, I like you said, I have four kids of my own. I have kid, my kids now are pretty much the same age as the kids that I'm coaching at the collegiate level, and so I, you know, I want to make sure and treat everybody fairly and, and treat our players, uh, you know, the way that I would want someone to treat my own kids if they were coaching, coaching my kids. So I think it's, uh, it's very, very important for them to realize and understand that, yeah, we're going to push them hard. We're going to coach them hard. We're going to have really high expectations, really high standards. But I also want them to make sure that they know that we really care about them as people and that we're going to try to help them as people. And we want, we want what's best for them off the field. We want what's best for them academically uh, socially, spiritually, and that we look at ourselves as, as mentors and leaders, and we want to be mentors for them for the rest of their life, not just for the four years that they're here at Grand Canyon playing soccer with us. Well, before we go, shout out to Sophie Sissel, your pride and joy, a high school graduate. We look forward to seeing your other kids on the field this fall at GCU Stadium. Thanks for joining us. All right. Thank you so much, Paul. I appreciate it. And, uh, you know, go Lopes. Lopes up.